What's going on guys, it's your boy Jho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means we got Zer once again. So here we are on the left side of the tower by the speaker and Zer is hanging out on this railing in the corner in the sun. I guess not really that sunny but he's hiding out in this corner. He hasn't been here in a while so let's take a look at his inventory for the weekend. So here we go, here's what he got for the weekend. It's pretty exciting because a lot of stuff is new and he's never sold it before. So let's jump straight into the exotics. First up for the Titan, we got the no backup plan gauntlets. Its perks are increase the duration of force barrier, increase melee attack speed, and increase reload speed with special weapons. Uh, my suggestion is a pass on this one just because there are better Titan exotics in the game right now, there's Armamentarium, there's Ruin Wings, there's Helm of Saint 14, there's a bunch of good ones out there. And uh, this one is okay, it's not a horrible exotic, but there are better ones to use your exotic spot on. Next up for the Hunter, we have the ATS-8 Arachnid, a new cell for Zer. He hasn't sold this before. It's the new helmet that came out with the Dark Below expansion pack for the Hunter. And its perks are causing damage with a grenade, reduces your melee cooldown, replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade, and your golden gun zooms in for accuracy when aimed. So I actually got this one in a nightfall a few weeks ago, actually several weeks ago, and I tried it out and it's not the best exotic helmet. Um, I'd rather use my slot on the Mask of Third Man or Symbiote instead, because those two are amazing compared to this one. But it does look pretty cool. Uh, just because of the spider eyes and stuff like that. But other than that, I think it's just for a collection of sorts because it's not the best helmet to put on as an exotic. For the Warlock, we have the Heart of Praxic Fire. He finally brought it week 25. It took him long enough, but he finally got the Heart of Praxic Fire. And now everyone has access to this chess piece. Um, its perks are further decreases all ability cooldowns while Radiance is active, carrying more ammo for fusion rifles and heavy weapons. If you guys haven't tried it out yet, I actually got lucky in getting a Praxic Fire a long time ago when I got it in a Legendary Engram. It was one of my first Legendary Engrams and I got this exotic out of it. I didn't even realize how lucky I was back then, but after seeing how good of an exotic it was after using it, over the past few weeks. I actually got it within like the first couple months of the game. So it's been a while since I actually got this chess piece. I was very lucky. But now everyone can try it out. It's a really good chess piece. I recommend it 100%. If you have a Warlock, go ahead and buy it. If you don't have a Warlock, go ahead and buy it. Because this thing is amazing. And then for the gun, we have the Universal Remote Primary Shotgun. Its perks are range and precision damage increases greatly while aiming down the sights and it kills with this weapon grant bonus damage for a short time so it has the crowd control perk which is always a pretty good perk in general and it also has the increasing damage and stuff like that and the range while aiming down the sight so it's better if you aim it down I didn't actually level up my universal remote I got it maybe I don't know I got it in the um, the chest in the beginning of Crota's end when you could get exotics out of it that's when I got mine so kind of at the beginning of the Dark Below coming out, that's when I got this gun. And um, this is actually the first time he's also sold this gun. So if you're missing this for your exotics, you can go ahead and buy it. Um, it's, it did get better though with the buff since they buffed shotguns, pulse rifles, stuff like that. Uh, so I heard it's not bad or as bad as it was before. But um, I'm going to go ahead and try it out because I do have one. And uh, I'll see how it is, especially after the buff, because shotguns are pretty ridiculous now after the buff. In PvE, I tried out some of my shotguns, like my uh, Fell Winter's Lie that I just bought from the Iron Banner. That thing is a beast inside the PvE. Uh, so you can go ahead and purchase it, because it might be decent, especially with the shotgun buff. So, uh, yeah. And then we got the Helmet Engram. I actually bought one already, uh, and I'm going to accumulate some and then open it up in a video for you guys. So I'll just keep getting Motes of Light, and every week when he brings one, I'll buy one and then open it up in a video. And then for the upgrading exotics, we have Symbiote and Master Third Man. Both of them are amazing. If you have both and you need to upgrade them, I'd recommend both because they're both really good. 
for each subclass we got this for the gunslinger and this for the blade dancer then for the titan we have insurmountable skull ford and crest of alpha loopy i'm wearing this right now because i use this when i play crotazen on hard mode with my titan and i like it a lot it's a pretty good helmet um just because of the replenish health when i pick up an orb i like that perk a lot it's the only one for the titan so that's my recommendation for crota on hard mode and then for this, we have Skull of Ahamkara and Void Fang. Um, I like Void Fang. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, I believe he did sell it last week, though, so you probably might have had it already and don't need to upgrade it. And uh, I don't know if he ever sold this. I don't think he ever sold this, so I don't know how many people have this. But Void Fang is pretty good, especially in PvP. And then for the guns, we have Bad Juju, Thorn, Invictive, Universal Remote, Thunderlord, and Super Good Advice. Uh... Obviously, you can just buy this. He always does that where he you, he sells it and then you can also upgrade it. Um, so that's weird. Um, for the other ones, Thorn's really good in PvP and PvE. Probably the best one out of these. I also like Thunderlord if you want to upgrade that. It's a pretty good gun. And then Bad Juju's not bad also. And Invictive and then a Super Good Advice. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.